I won't forget the time I did a speech in Uniontown, Pennsylvania with the teachers in that system. And I put them through the blue-eyed, brown-eyed exercise in a very informal way in the morning. In the afternoon, the death threats began. And the <laughs> teachers called the principal and said, if you don't get that bitch out of town, we're going to shoot her. So every place I went the next day, that the rest of that day, and the next day, every place I went, I was accompanied by a black man, black is what he called him, in the back seat of the car with his hand inside an open briefcase while we were riding from place to place. And I had to sit in the front seat and he had to sit in the back with his hand inside this open briefcase. <laughs> we got to one place and he was sitting up there watching what was going on. And I was doing my thing and his hand was inside that briefcase. And when we got ready to leave, I said, look, what's going on here? He said, Jane, we're going to get you out of town. So he took me to a, a home and <laughs> he he made me sit in the front seat beside him, and we pulled up parallel to the sidewalk of this house. And it was one of those that are, you know, lots of steps up to the house, brownstone, is that what it's called? And there was a black person, two black people, on each of those steps standing there facing one another. He said, now, when I open this door, you slide across this seat and run up those steps. I said, what's going on? He said, slide across the seat and run up those steps, Mrs. Elliott. So he opened the door and stepped back and held the door open. And I ran up the steps and these guys are standing there, each, each two of them on each step. We got inside and everybody was just really tense and really upset. And I thought, well, no, and nobody was talking to me. They were just saying, what are we going to do? We'll do this. We'll do that. They were making their plans. And then when we got ready to leave, he said, run down those steps and get into that car. So I ran down the steps and got in. There were people on each, on each of the steps, got into the car. They shut the car. Three car loads of black men followed us to the Pennsylvania Turnpike because they said, and I said on the way, look, Anna S. Cunningham was the head of the Human Relations Department in Pennsylvania at that time. I said, what's going on here? She said, Jane, we've got to get you out of town. The teachers threatened to kill you, and we don't want you killed in Uniontown, Pennsylvania. So she took me to, to, to Harrisburg, and the next morning I got up all alone, and I was at the, in a motel, two-story motel, and I opened the door of my room and I looked out and I thought behind one of those windows could be the person who was sent here to shoot me. And I backed up and I closed the door and I thought, now you've got a problem. You've got to make a decision and you got to do it now. You can stand here and be terrified and never do this work again. Or you can step in your shoulders, get your luggage, walk to the desk and get out of here. Now, what are you going to do? And I had four children at home and a husband whom I absolutely adored. I stiffened my shoulders because I thought, I guess I thought if my shoulders were stiff enough, the bullets would bounce off. You do really strange things when you're scared. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. And I took my car luggage card in my hand and I put my purse over my shoulder. I opened that door and I walked quickly. I didn't run because I think you don't, you don't run, you run, you don't run because you're scared. You're scared because you run. If you start running, you've got the adrenaline going, you do not run. You walk, and I walked straight to the desk, and I got there, and I thought, well, look what you've done. You've let those sons of bitches scare you to death. This will never happen to me again. And I've been hit by a white male several times as a result of doing the exercise. While doing the exercise, I've never been scared, and I'll never be scared again. Because what can you do? Kill me? If you kill me, you make a heroin out of me. And you make what I say ever so much more important. 